iTunes down. All right. So from the beginning, it looks like a really cute couple's camper, right? You've got your recliners set up for where the grandkids can take a nap. Tons of storage on top of the counter in the cabinets. There is an, there's even a little spot for the Keurig, guys. Like they made it specifically for coffee bar. Okay, so there's a lot of things in this camper that are not normal. Come here real quick. What do you see on this counter that you don't normally see in this price point of a camper? Uh, bingo. What? And it has USB ports. So not only do you have your coffee and all that over here, you can plug in whatever else you need to in this end. Just be careful because this thing's gonna slice your finger off if you're not careful. All right. Other things, I'm, I'm a sucker for hidden storage. I'm a sucker for all of the, where can I hide my stuff? What? Check it out. Not only is it hidden storage, but it's actually usable storage. The depth on this is amazing. I can fit literally, I mean, I'm small, but I can fit my whole arm in there, right? Top shelf, bottom shelf, hide the things you don't want the grandkids to find, you know? Okay, so last but not least of the exciting things that I've so far discovered because this is our very first Keystone Bullet. But you know, I'm sitting here, I'm thinking about like, oh man, my parents, I myself would love this camper. It's comfortable and I'm over here playing with this and I'm like, okay, this is typical, right? This is typical, everybody's got this. But then, what? We got armrest storage too? I don't even know what I would put in there, but I'm going to put something in there. You know, there was a customer that once told me, you give your wife a closet, she will find something to put in it. And I was like, you know, sir, I'm something of your wife myself. Because I, I do that thing. Every time I find somewhere to put something in, I don't even know what I'm going to put in there. But here, look, here's a battery. Let's put that in there. Bam. Why? I don't know. Why are we doing these things? Okay. Bathroom, pretty typical, standard, neo-angle shower. So when you're actually in here, there's party room, right? Okay, I'm small, like I said, but even as a bigger person, there's space. There's all kinds of space. There's head space if you're taller, and you've got some shelf space in here. If you're like me and you've got too many different kinds of shampoo and conditioner. Ah, we're in here together. There is lots of space in here. Wow. Bigger than she is. <laughs> Yes. What do you think? We can fit all of the shampoo and conditioner in here? I think we can. I mean, honestly, I think we can. And then if you want to flip around, I'm not going to hang out in the bedroom with you guys, but the bedroom is also pretty typical. Queen size RV bed, tons of storage. You've got CPAP storage on the side, which is going to have your electric ports in there. There's going to be drawer storage underneath here. Check it out. And then course your under bed storage one more thing before we wrap this bad boy up and put a big old bow on it laundry chute i think i can fit down there should i try try it okay all righty we're going in you're gonna let me out of the passive storage so don't tell you guys don't tell colston whoever watches this do not tell oh my god i do think i can hey 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 we're in there we're in there like swimwear. Hey, we in there. Go down the chute. Going down. Okay. Going down the chute. Going down. <laughs> Tables, chairs, Adela. This really fits it all. Honestly, look at how big this pastor storage. All right, now that we're done being silly, this camper is pretty cool, but let me get you with some facts. Weight on it, unloaded, 5,600 pounds, so you know once you start adding all your water and your stuff and all of that, you're probably going to be playing around 7,000, 7,500 pounds, so this is actually half ton towable. I can tow it with my Ranger. Sorry. <laughs> you want to make sure that you never max your tow weight out, but I can guarantee you I would have no problems towing this in my Ranger as long as I don't, you know, overload all the tanks, but you don't want to be traveling with a full black tank. That's never a good time. Make sure that you're dumping your tanks, okay? Uh, it's about 30 foot, a little less than 30 foot, aluminum frame, fiberglass
cross siding, all power jacks, so it's super easy to set up. You don't have to worry about, you know, cranking anything. Where's my drill? Did I charge my drill? What's going to happen with the tongue jack? Because, you know, I'm making gains, but I'm not making that kind of gains, okay? I eat way too much sugar for all that. Other things, if you look up at the roof, it's a rounded roof. Reasons for that is more uh, head space. For one, it also helps with the rain drainage up on top of the roof. You're not going to have things staying up there and it getting all nasty and moldy. And it makes your AC more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It makes your AC work Functional. Better. Functional, there you go. Because there's more space up in the roof, you're able to have bigger ducts, so your AC is going to be able to flow better. Now on this one, we did upgrade it to a 15K AC because let's face it, we're in the south and it gets hot in these bad boys, okay? Keep your blinds closed. I do love that they did the light filtering. Not gonna lie, the room darkening ones. You know, we're out here to camp, we're out here to see nature, right? So I like these blinds. I like that they did mini blinds throughout the kitchen. Everything stays uniform. Personally, if somebody doesn't come by this camper, I might. And then one other thing that Mr. Byron showed me which, let's see if I can even do it because he didn't really do a tutorial. He just said, hey, Adela, check this out. But if you want to take a look underneath this table, normally you would see two poles sitting right here, right? What do we do with those two poles? Pop the table off, throw the poles outside, hit a kid with it. We don't have to do all that. Okay, so let's see if we can figure this out together. You do that, all right? That's simple. And then Byron told me all you got to do, holy moly! That's literally all you do. Boom, bingo, bango, you got a bed. Easiest setup ever. What? Okay, let's see how easy it is to pull it back up. What? Okay, I know I'm using two hands, but I literally did not have to put any force to that, okay? And then all you gotta do, lock this bad boy back in place. And you have a table again. This is the future, my friends. 